Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program fuckers. Hello fuckers. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I was making a vid for uh, Kurt Ratcliffe and he raises an, an interesting question. He says in his email, I have a small collection of five watches and think I will stop at six. That's all the room in the box and insurance fund. Now, what I find so fascinating with Kurt's collection, he's got some really heavy hitting stuff and he's, he's not just on an endless quest of consumerism and buying and fucking this and fucking that. No, 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 no. He's actually built a very well thought out collection. And I, I really, I can understand he's stopping at a certain number. He doesn't just need to add, add, add like the cookie monster. Just add, 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 add. He just, hey, hey, stop. We get a certain number. Now, I was talking to Brian from Zircon. Debt Brian from Zircon Security and Debt Recovery. And he had 10 watches this morning. He woke up with 10 watches, okay? And I'll tell you what they are. Brian's got a Pro Prof reissue, Rolex Deep C. He's got a 18238 blue with diamond dial, an 18038 black with Romans. He has got a two-tone Submariner bluesy. Two-tone ceramic bluesy, a smurfy, smurfy. He's got, what the fuck else has he got? He's got Solid Gold Yacht Master, Explorer 2. He had an Amiga, Planet Ocean, and a Sea Dweller. 40 mil Sea Dweller. Ten pieces. And the weakest link was the Omega Planet Ocean Chronograph. And uh, he actually, he paid, he bought it, he bought it about 12 months ago. He paid about, <coughs> I think he paid 5400 Aussie for it. And he's just sold it. He sold it a bit cheap. I'm a bit, I, I thought he could have got a bit more, but that's okay. That's okay. He sold it for 57 Aussie. But uh, it's okay, he sold it to a, a, a semi-mate. And he just said, you know, Archie, the ten watches. He said, I've got rid of one, so that's nine. He said the, the day date, 18038 Black Dial with Romans. He's holding that for Archie. I've just got to come up with the cash. So that's... He, psychologically, he's put that to the side for me. He's a fucking good mate. Then, there's eight remaining, right? Eight remaining, but he's got a deep sea and a sea dweller. So he said that only counts as one, and he's got two, two, two-tone subs. He's got a pre-ceramic and a ceramic, both blue. Bluesy and smurfy. And he said, you know, in the collection... He doesn't want more than 10. He doesn't. He said he feels more happier with eight watches than with 10. And uh, there's a lot to be said for that. You know, I, I got to tell you, sometimes in my own collecting life, I've looked back and thought, oh, <coughs> I had it so perfect. And uh, I think there's a lot to be said for a well balanced collection. I think I think it's just really cool. You put the effort in, you try and balance it off, and it's really clever. And uh, in Brian's case, he um, he had quite a lot of quite a lot of subs and instead of getting a a solid gold sub he put a bit of variety in there, and it came up at good money. He got a Yachtmaster 1, which I think is a fucking gorgeous watch. In some ways, I kind of prefer it to the 
blue solid gold sub I've got because it's got the solid gold bezel. And it's, it's very interesting there. You look at this collections and uh, I know with extremely wealthy people, you would think, oh, someone with more money, they just have more shit. Yes, there's people. There are fuckers out there who've got the first watch their parents gave them, the, uh, the watch from graduation, the first girlfriend who bought her there, them a blah, blah, blah. You got all this shit in the collection. But there's a lot to be said for coming in there and pruning it and letting the collection grow. It's a living organism. And uh, ha have a look at Archie's collection, the Archie 5. You think about it, the two Pateks are gone. Not forgotten. They're, they're, I, I still remember them. I love the Pateks, but they've, they've gone. The AP has gone. The um, Reggae Type 20 Transatlantic has gone. And I'll probably get rid of my uh, Reggae Erin Bale if some fucking asshole, some fucking asshole can be bothered to. Uh, I mean, that, that's, that's it. I, look, I, I, I don't know whether. I'm, I want to use the money to, to buy the day date Brian wants to sell me. So it's. it's, it's, it's I don't know. I love I love the Brega. We'll wait and see what happens. I've got other shit I can sell too. I want to I want to move some more uh, LV and some of my train collections. I, I want to move some other shit as well. But what I'm trying to say, fuckers, is, is that there is some really cool. It's just nice to have a collection that you consolidate at times. It's like having a beautiful rose garden. You got to come in there and trim the fuckers back. You've got to trim the fuckers back and wait for the regrowth. And there's, there's a lot to be said for a well-thought-out collection. And what is the perfect number? I, I, I can remember when I had three watches at one stage. <coughs> I had my white gold Patek. I had my... What else did I have there? I had my white gold Patek. Date just 16234 with the white gold bezel. And I had an Explorer 1. And I was really comfy. I, I, I loved all of them. They got equal wrist time. And I, I kind of was happy. And, and sometimes adding... I remember when I had eight pieces. Um, I, it just became too much. I was just wearing the beaters. I was wearing the beaters because... Oh, I didn't want to damage the... You know, and... and but when I had three, it was so small and compact. I just wore them when I loved them. You, you know, it's... I think there's a lot to be said for keeping tabs on the numbers. Now, I'm not just saying this because Err indoors is on a witch hunt. I'm, I'm just, just, just back the track up. What is the perfect number? This is for you. Forget the everyone else influencing you. Forget it. And uh, what's the perfect number? And I, I think less is more. Tell me what you think. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you miserable, nasty, mean, cheap fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Don't insult the audience. $20 per vid. Keep those questions coming. Archie doesn't do shit for free, fuckers. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not gonna bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.